Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, March the 6th, 2021. It is currently 8.46 a.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from Victory Baptist Church, located right here in Ovalo, Texas. And we are still trying to figure out what is going on with the sound problems. I have... I have done search after search. I have watched YouTube video after YouTube video, and I have bought a new microphone. So here is the current situation. A new microphone is on the way. It is supposed to arrive sometime today. When that new microphone arrives, I'll probably drive back here to the church, hook it up, and do some tests to see, well, to see if it sounds any better than the microphones that I'm using. I have two microphones right here. I have the brand new Blue Yeti uh, microphone, the newest version of the Blue Yeti microphone. It's right here. And I am currently speaking. I know when I say right here, like you can see, you can't see. I'm holding in my hands, never stained by nicotine, okay? I, I'm holding in my hand. Yes, that was a reference to something Rush Limbaugh uh, used to say. Not that I always agreed with him by no means, but okay. Um, we, yeah, we, we, should, uh, we should do a podcast episode about about his legacy. We, we, we should do that sometime, but okay. So, but I'm holding here in my hands, the newest version of the Blue Yeti microphone. Looks really nice. I, I, there's, there's one feature I don't love about the blue, this Blue Yeti microphone, but you're not here to talk about that. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should do a whole podcast episode about podcast microphones, but here we go. So here's the Blue Yeti microphone. This is the one where all the problems started. All right. We would get this either this major static sound or this very like, Almost sounds like a, a robot that was on drugs. It, 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 we don't know what was going on. So, so we decided to replace this one. I'm putting it down to the one I'm currently speaking into, which if you look at the cover art for this podcast episode, you'll see a picture of it. It's the older silver version of the Blue Yeti microphone. I've had this one forever. So we went back to the old one and we went back to the old one because, well, we thought that would fix the problem. We thought maybe temporarily it had fixed the problem, but the problem returned. Now, according to YouTube video after YouTube video after YouTube video, and so therefore it means a lot of people have experienced this kind of problem with the Blue Yeti microphone. So that, that tells me something, right? That gives me at least a clue. But they all say, go into your laptop settings where you go to your recording device, you find your microphone, and you basically lower that volume almost like down to 10. Just, I mean, as low as you can get it. And then you come over here to the back of the microphone. Again, you can't see this. Back of the microphone. And you turn the gain wide open. You turn the gain wide open. And they say that will magically make the problem go away. It seems bizarre to me, but okay. So I, I had turned it down to, what, 23? I think I'd turned the internal volume setting to around 23, 24. So today I've reduced it to below 20. I've increased the gain. And I'm going to see if if this provides us a day or a couple of hours of live broadcasting without any technical difficulties. I currently don't I, I don't know what I currently sound like, so give me a second. I have to uh, open up the Spreaker app to uh, hear what I currently sound like. Give me one second. Give me one second. Here here's the Spreaker app. If you're listening to me live, you can tell me how it sounds as well uh, by using the chat feature. All right, here we are. Microphone test and update. We are live on the air. There's our professional intro. This is the Theology Central podcast, making theology central. Thank you, Jill. I don't I don't know who, the name of the female who did it. Okay. Here we are. Microphone test and update. We are live on the air. All right. There's I think I think we're I think we're good. I I guess we could I don't know if we're loud enough. I'm going to I'm going to just reach over here one second. I'm going to turn the microphone backwards. I, I I don't know if that increased the volume at all, but there we go. Um I I just moved the uh, gain up a little bit. The thing is, you know when when you do uh when you record your podcast, you know that people are listening a lot with their phones. And those little phone speakers they're not very loud. So you want to ensure that at least people can clearly hear what you're saying, because if they don't clearly hear what they're saying, you're saying, then they hop on, uh, you know, they hop on the old email and they email you and accuse you of all kinds of insane things. And you're like, did you actually hear what I said? 
And then you're like, well, I was listening to you on my phone. Okay. I, I saw, I, now I'm just giving them an excuse for why they don't actually hear what I'm saying. I, mean, I think sometimes it's because they don't actually listen. But we're going to try this today. Currently, I don't hear any of the static. I don't hear any of the problems. We're going to try this. And then today, when we get the new microphone, we will hook that up and we will see if it works any better. If it sounds any better, you'll get to make the determination which microphone we should use. And then we'll see. Uh, we'll just see. Um, so at any point today, if there's a sound problem and you're listening to me live, please report it as fast as you can so that I can stop that live broadcast. Go delete it before it gets shared to every podcast you know platform on earth and then start over. It's very frustrating. It's very discouraging that this is going on because the last thing I want to do is walk through the front door of this church, come back here to my podcast setup and not know for sure when I hit that big red go live button, if everything's working properly, you, you have kind of a, there's an element of faith. You just believe, you just trust it's going to work. And therefore you turn on the microphone and you start talking with every idea that when it's over, everything's going to work out perfectly. The last thing you want to do is spend an hour producing a podcast episode. Now, I know those of you who produce podcast episodes and you edit, 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 edit. I don't, I don't even get all of that. Look, I, to me, you turn on the microphone, you talk, and then it's over, okay? And what you get is what you get. Again, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. I think the imperfection, I think imperfection makes podcasting unique. All edited and professional, I, I think it takes away the, the uniqueness of podcasting. Podcasting isn't, I, I think it's for the average person being able to communicate with people around the world their ideas. I, I don't know. I have a whole philosophy about that, but we, we could debate that some other time. But you'll get to decide which one you think sounds better. And uh, hopefully, it, look, if, 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 it's, if it is the Blue Yeti mic, hopefully when we hook up the other mic, we never have that problem again and we can just move on. I'm, I'm hoping, I, I, I'm running out of ideas, but it, it was interesting that when you start searching there's a lot of people who reported very similar problems using the Blue Yeti microphone. Even though the Blue Yeti microphone is one of the top rated USB podcasting microphones, it looks like a lot of people have had similar problems. And it doesn't seem like anyone has any definitive way in, in, uh, a definitive way to fix that problem. So if you are a microphone, podcasting microphone expert, and you have the answer, Feel free to email me your answer to newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. Um, I would like to thank once again, I'd like to thank once again, um, our listener in Ohio. She has supported us so many different ways. Um, anyone who's ever received a free book from this podcast, you received that free book because basically the listener in Ohio bought it for you. Um, the... Uh, the microphone that we are receiving, I purchased the microphone and basically right at the same time, we received a check from that listener in Ohio uh, for $300, which covers the cost of the pot of the microphone, the pop filter, and, and well, the shipping was free. Uh, so we didn't have to worry about that. So she paid for it. She paid for it. Once again, I, I, I didn't ask anything. She just does that. So to, to the listener in Ohio, she knows who she is. Uh, to, the, to the rest of you, just, uh, you know, you've, be, you've benefited from her. Let me just uh, say it that way. You have benefited from her time and time again uh, because uh, of her generous support. I, I always feel bad. I always feel bad. But um, I just want you to know that, that that's, that's how this is occurring today. So, um, well, we'll see. Hopefully it fixes it because the only other option to fix the problem is a new laptop. And that's not cheap. <laughs> that's not cheap. So uh, I don't want to have to. And this the laptop that we're using is what is it? it's a, over a thousand dollar laptop. So, you know, and it's not that old, but I, I ran every diagnostic test. I updated every driver that I could find. To up, I've done everything. And there's no there's no there's no reason why it should be uh, the laptop. So I, I'm going to go, it has to be the microphone. I, it has to be. It has to be. And if we have to retire the Blue Yeti microphones, we retire the Blue Yeti microphones. All I want to be able to do is come here and talk to you about the things we need to talk about. So guess what? 
I'm going to stop this test and we're going to get busy talking about the things we need to talk about because we've got a lot of things to do today. So sounds good. I hope it sounds good. If you've got anything you want me to talk about, you need to email me as fast as possible to newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. I will be checking that email. And if there's a question or a topic, I will definitely make that a priority today. Now I'm going to stop this test. Drink a little bit of water to let my voice warm up, get my notes ready, and we're going to start off with, oh, it's going to be controversial. We're going to be talking about John MacArthur, Master's uh, Master's University, or Master's Seminary, we'll call it Master's Seminary, John MacArthur, the Master's Seminary, and Qualifications for an Elder. I did this episode on Wednesday. There's been new developments since then. And I, I deleted the one on Wednesday because whether you, I know, I'll know of you, none of you know this, but Wednesday was one of those uh, seizure days, okay? Let's just say Wednesday, I was having some major neurological issues happening. And so um, I feel a little bit better neurologically today. Thank, thank God for that. Just got to let my voice warm up and we're going to dig in. It's, it's going to be a little bit of controversy, but we'll be back on the air here in about 10 minutes. Thank you for listening to this test. God bless.